when you start a book, everyone says, like, like, what do I do? Where do I start? And I remember a long time ago, I had an idea for a relationship humor book called How to Stay Single Forever. And I wrote some pages, got a meeting with an agent, showed her the book. She said, good idea, went to her shelves and handed me a relationship humor book called How to Stay Single Forever. And ever since then, I always say to students um, starting books, do some research and find out what's out there already. And to a lot of my students, that means Google for five minutes. So what I want to ask all the panelists is how much research is required before you really start writing a book? And I actually thought, Sam, you're a good person to start with because you're doing biographies. And I wondered if, if there's already biographies of a subject out there, does that affect your decision to go ahead with a book? Maybe publishers don't always worry so much about whether there's something else out there if they think the book you're working on will be interesting and valuable. In the end, if you're doing the kind of book I do, which is very heavily researched and documented and is really a kind of historical work, though that's not so much a concern. It's more a matter of getting the story right and uh, mastering the material as best as one can. Let's ask the book editors, Dan, as the editor-in-chief of Random House, how important was it for the author to come in, or the, the project to come in with, a, what do they call it, a market analysis of all the other books out there? How much did that, um, how much did you weigh that in deciding about books? I think it's important for the writer to know what else has been done in the field, and I think a lot of proposals, especially nonfiction proposals, come in anticipating the competition or naming the competition, saying, yes, there was a biography of Whitaker Chambers at such and such a point, but that person didn't know then what we know now, and I have new material. Or, yes, it's true, there have been a lot of books about oil shortages and the coming end of oil supply, but no one else has yet been able to do what I'm going to do, which is X, Y, and Z. But if you have a gift and an inspiration and you do a little bit of scouting around to see if this particular category is over full, like books about Iraq right now, then you might not want to pursue that. Um, but if you find that you've got a subject for a biography who hasn't been, who's important or surprisingly important and hasn't been treated in this way for 20 or 25 years, then by all means. I think as an editor it arms me, if, it, if I'm interested in the topic, um, and I want to take it to the next step. It, it arms me to be able to say to sales, I know that there's a book on this topic, but, and um, sometimes that's a good thing. It shows that there's an audience on a topic. If there have been five books on, uh, you know, say, parenting uh, children with autism, and this author has a specific angle, it proves that there is an audience hungry for that kind of material. On the other hand, I'm also going to be looking for, well, how is this different? I mean, I recently signed up a biography of Cezanne, and I'm so not a person who's done, I've never done an art biography. I'm not, I mean, of course, one loves great art, but I'm, I don't, I'm no expert. But I loved this writer's voice. I was completely captivated by the way he described Cezanne and Cezanne's importance. And so, you know, of course you could say, well, of course, everything's been written about people like that. But I felt this is going to be a very special book, so I felt compelled. And of course I read through you know, what there has and hasn't been in the past, but I think in the end I'm really, ultimately it's about a voice and a, f a feeling of how the story will be told. I had a client who came with a you know, pretty good idea about how marriage is like, I, I don't want to say this specific, because a certain kind of sports you play with a partner, okay? So she goes through it and well this book doesn't talk about how marriage is like so and so sport. Of course it doesn't talk about it. I mean that's your kooky thesis. You haven't proved to me by your list that the world needs your book. <laughs> So don't just list it for me. List it for me in such a way that leaves me thinking, oh my God, I hadn't realized this is a new angle. I bet I could do something. But then, you need a catchy title. You need more than just your list. I also um, have, have built a list mainly uh, out of um, voice-driven uh, projects. I'm, I'm drawn uh, initially by, by the writing, uh, uh, more so than the subject area. I, I'll agree with Deb that... Um, you know, there are, at least in, in the realm of fiction, there are not that many new subjects under the sun. It's, uh, it's a matter of the voice and the sensibility and your approach.